In this video, we're gonna be experimenting with the Fruity Convolver inside FL Studio. And I wanna show you a really cool trick that I think all producers should know who use FL Studio because you can get some really, really cool effects using this. You don't need to run it. I'ma keep on going. You don't need to run it. I'ma keep on going. What's up my producer friends, I'm David with anothermonsterproductions.com. Today we're gonna to be experimenting with a really cool technique that I only really recently found out about and I've been sort of messing with. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. All right, so let's go ahead and load up a serum just so we can create a little plucky sound real quick. And by default, you should have a saw wave. And so I'm just gonna turn the filter on here. I'm uh, gonna bring the cutoff a little bit up and then we'll map the envelope to the cutoff and kind of create a little something like this and then I'll just create a little plucky shape. You can mess with this to make it however you want. I'm gonna make it super tight, and then I'll kind of bring this down a little bit. So something like that sounds pretty good. And then let's go ahead and go into our piano roll. I just wanna kind of plot something out here. Doesn't have to be anything too crazy. So something like that sounds pretty good. Now let's go ahead and route this to a free mixer track. And what I wanna do is add the Fruity Convolver on here. So let's go ahead and do that. Basically what this is is a reverb, so we can kind of listen to it. Sounds pretty nice, pretty wet. But what I wanna do is go into my packs and we can actually, within the Fruity Convolver, I can load any sample I want into this area, and we can basically use that as the reverb. So we can start to get all sorts of crazy effects. For example, if I go into my Monster Samples 2020 Trap Edition, uh, I can go into one shots, and I have a bunch of effects here. So I could do, let's try, I don't know, this knife. Let me drag it in. and I can change the stretch. Yeah, I like that wide. We can add some self-convolve, which is essentially adding kind of like reverb onto it. Let's experiment with some other sounds. Try a sweep. Now another thing we can do here is we can go into the EQ settings and we can just make sure that you know the EQ curve is kind of doing something nice. So we can kind of cut out some of those lower frequencies like this. Or you know if we wanted to, we could boost up a certain frequency like this. So that's pretty cool. We can get some really, really unique sounds by messing with this whole thing. Now, another thing that sounds really, really cool is if you add like a vocal chop or something onto it. So here's a nice little guitar loop. Let's go ahead and open up the Fruity Convolver, see what we can come up with here. I really want to try more of like a phrase acapella. 
So let's see if we can find some ad lib, something like that. Here, let me go ahead and get rid of some of this stuff. And then I'll get rid of this extra excess too. So that's pretty cool. Uh, it kind of adds some like extra ambience. Let's try another guitar loop. This one's a little bit cleaner sounding. I'm gonna add this uh, pop vocal loop on top of it. And let's cut out all this extra stuff. See what we can get. Let's try this on a drum loop. Instead of doing a vocal sample, let's try doing some more effects on this one and we'll do like fully. Probably too much. So let me cut out some of this. Uh, we'll just cut out this section here. Still probably too much, so I'm gonna cut out that. So anyway, you get the idea. There's a lot of really cool things that you can come up with messing with this. I don't wanna make this tutorial too long, so I'm gonna go ahead and wrap things up. If you liked the video, please go ahead and hit the like button. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. Don't forget to hit the bell notification. That's gonna let you know anytime I release videos in the future. Right now, I'm trying to do a video every weekend, so those usually come out on Friday or Saturday, uh, sometimes Sunday. If you're new to music production or if you're struggling with anything production related, I do offer one-on-one -on -one private lessons, which you can sign up for on my website. So I'll be sure to leave a link in the description of this video if you guys want to check that out and I will see you guys in the next video.